Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays XCOM Enemy Unknown! When number two here is keeping an eye on everything for us, so we can just take a moment here to sit back, chat about everything that's been going on. Things like, oh my god, I've got so many dead people. Uh, I am so sorry for the last showing of these past couple of rounds, guys. I have just been... I don't know, I don't know, I've been, I've been taking unnecessary risks and unfortunately my squad have been the people to suffer from it, so that, that's not good. But, the thing we're doing here at the moment is trying to get this hyperwave relay built, built, because if we go over to the situation room, that's the thing they tell us we need to do. It's nice and simple, we're playing a game so we follow the objectives, right? Um, Raise and abductions in Lagos. Nigeria spreads panic throughout. That's, that's a bit of a, uh, an unfortunate situation to be in. Uh, some, of the, some of the other things that we were doing, if you remember last time, uh, we had a problem in the hangar. Well, we didn't have a problem. We had a problem over North America where there was a UFO pew-pewing at our um, satellites, and we didn't like that, so we sent the um, interceptors out. The only problem with that is they both well and truly got their bottoms handed to them before... They actually got ta they managed to take out the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? UFO. It's not, it's not a word, it's an acronym. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, what we're doing there is we're building another interceptor. So just to, just to try and take up the flak before these firestorms start getting, well, this particular firestorm gets built. So we can then roll them out across everywhere. Yeah, that's my plan anyway. Uh, we've got a lot of days to wait before we can do that. So let's go into mission control. Now, if... I oh hello someone's playing don't stuff uh, if everything works out all right everything should be okay but I've got a feeling that the next couple of days we're going to get some sort of like alien abduction well it won't be the alien abduction because we just had that but the past few days every time I've come to like fast forward through time things have happened and we've not really got very far in the time so let's see what happens this time maybe oh look Mr Johnson has returned I do like that uh, the Titan armor good oh. We can finally get our guys some armor that might be able to take the flak that I keep putting them under. Um, not to mention we're also having all these sort of heavy aliens now. Look, we've got the heavy floater. In fact, if we come back here, yes, boom, new item research. Here we have the heavy floater ready for an autopsy, which of course means we need to try and capture one back alive at some point, right? So we can do uh, not just an autopsy, but an interrogation. Mars a variation on a previously identified specimen. This is the heavy floater. As you can see, the aliens have made substantial improvements to the armor and weapon systems available, while removing some of its exposed vulnerabilities. An extremely dangerous combatant. Actually, he really was really dangerous every time. I think it was those guys that took out most of my boys. My boys! My boys! Okay, so now we got that going, let's just carry on scanning. Are we going to have any contact? I'm kind of waiting for some contact. It's kind of what I do. Excavations have been completed, though, so we can go have a look inside the facilities and see if there's anything else we need to build. I don't know what else we could possibly need to build. But the autopsy! Uh, advanced repair project is available in the foundry. So let's go check out what that does. Um, our understanding of the materials grows. We believe that we can develop a process that will reduce and repair the type. I've not really done any shivs, to be honest. Uh, so this is going to give us like drones that will repair our uh, heavy platforms. But I've not done anything. Maybe, maybe this is something I need to do. Maybe this is something we need to do. But before that. I know, what's the, what's the shortest? The alloy cannon. Uh, the density of the aliens' alloys we've been studying has precluded them as uh, use as ammunition. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Bam, don't drop down. Okay, so everything is kind of ticking over. I was saying that we need to come to engineering, go to the facilities, and there we go. Look, look all this that has been done. Uh, so what's going on over here? What else do we have that needs to be... Like the ethelium generator? No, we don't need that. So there's not really actually anything I need to build that we've not already got going, have I? Well, I'm not going to do it, because why would I do it if we don't need it? It's just going to cost me more money that I just don't have. Though I do have a bit of money in the bank, particularly for when the armour is made, I think. Because I'd like to I'd like to get my people some like, shit type armour. Uh, the ravens are back in... Back in... Uh, back in the fray, I suppose is the word. Uh, aliens are terrorising Perth. It is a very difficult mission. We're going to send a Sky Ranger. We're going to have a look at our boys, see what we got. Finally... We've got a support guy back on the team, that's good. Uh, hello, who are you? Nakagawa, why aren't you wearing your armour? What's going on with you, mate? Who, who else is m wearing it? I bet it's this guy here, right? Uh, let's go in and have a look. Yeah, look, you're wearing totally the wrong place. Let's put him in that. There we go. Um, we're going to give Nakagawa back his rather nice loadout. There we go, the skeleton suit. He's got the plasma pistol, he's got a plasma sniper rifle, he's also got the nano fiber vest. He's also currently, I think, our highest ranking individual. Um, Colonel... Oh, we got Colonel Pedersen. 
and everyone else is just kind of a bit bit rubbish. Uh, Squaddy Berg here, he, he needs just like so much stuff. Like, he doesn't want an assault rifle. I mean, laser plasma rifle is better than what he's, what he's currently carrying. Surely, surely, surely. Uh, and everything else looks alright. The fact that he's only carrying one medkit is a little bit rubbish. But because this is an ultra hard mission, I'm going to send two support guys in so they can like revive my guys. Uh, two assault, a heavy, and good old Yella here. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, yeah, let's go. I think everyone should be alright. I didn't really have a look through everyone's equipment. Maybe, maybe somewhere there are some gaps and I'm sure we will find out what it is we're missing pretty soon. Uh, but worse, off to, off to Australia. What could possibly go wrong here? Perth, not a side of the country I know much about, it's got to be honest. I've got to be honest, it hasn't got to be honest, it can do whatever it likes. So that's our next drop site. Yeah, Australia, asking for my help. I don't know if I've got any Aussies on crew. This is good, I like that density upgrade. So this is a terror attack, we're supposed to be saving the aliens, but I tell you what, the first thing I'm going to do is be taking down those chrysalids, because those guys can give me chitin armor, which is better than the nanofiber vest, and then I can give it to Yella, and then we never have to worry about him taking damage again, right? I think, maybe? I don't know. Let's just, let's just see where we're deployed, what we can do, what, what we're going to do about this problem. The fact that not too many of my guys are using plasma kind of worries me. No, my highest priority is to keep my guys alive while we go and find out where the civilians are. Um, oh, we're on a bridge, so we can just kind of sweep forwards and let everyone have their pop. I really kind of want to put, put him on the side rather than just there, but th this will do. I didn't want the more information. I'd, I've opened that screen a couple of times now, but I don't think I've ever actually read it. Um, which may not be the best thing. I should probably do that just to make sure I'm not doing anything silly. Uh, we're going to overwatch there. So these three are going to be like our go forwards and smash people in the face crew, uh, including Squaddy Berg here. He needs to get himself some um, like some major XPs, right? Surely. Surely. Uh, Nakagawa, you are literally just going to sit there and wait for someone to stick their head above a car so that you can shoot. What did I click? What did I click? I didn't think I'd actually clicked anything, but oh well, there we go. Squaddy Johnson once again going off doing his thing. Squaddy Johnson, Stitch Johnson, Stitch Johnson going off and doing his thing. Should we run over there just so we can, uh, I don't know, get shot at when he can't return fire? I suppose that's what's going on here. Okay, so we have some heavy floaters incoming. Was that? No, yes, maybe. I don't know, who knows? We can see them, but they're not really coming into range. I think we've been on the, oh my God. Did you guys see that one, two, three, four, five of them? Uh, Pedersen's taken a shot and uh, Heavy's taken a shot. They, they're not kidding when they said this was a very hard mission, did they? Um, kind of waiting for Nakagawa to lay down the smackdown, really. It's, it's what we're after, right? Uh, I'd wish they kind of waited till they was a little bit closer. I mean, that would be that would be good. Uh, so we're just going to have to... Oh, oh yeah, though, what did I tell you? Nakagawa coming through and showing how it's done. That is definitely the way forwards there. All right, we done? We done? Do you, any, anything else? Uh, let's go over to Nakagawa and see what he can actually do. Or uh, he can only fire at one person. And as fun as that is, oh, Squaddy Johnson, you look, you're a little bit out in the out in the open there. Now, do we want to get Pedersen in for for like just full on black and carry? Maybe. The thing I'm worried about at the moment is these guys have grenades, right? And grenades mean that a lot of my guys can take damage at once, and that's not great. Uh, the other thing I'm slightly worried about is the uh, angle of attacks. If I put this guy over here, is he going to get shot at? <coughs> or is he going to be able to shoot? This is the, the main question, really. He ha does have one un unflanked, or uncovered, sorry. 35% chance to hit. That was a bit rubbish, actually. Though we are just about to blow up a car, so that might work in our favour. Then again, it might just take away all the cover that we want to use. Um, yeah. <laughs> Which wouldn't be so good. Rocket. Ah, oh, look at that. Brilliant. 90%. There we go. We're just going to have to go for that. That's kind of the, the best shot we can do. I complete. I always forget that my heavies can fire rockets. It's, it's a little bit. Oh, that was a rubbish shot. What was that? What was that? <sighs> well, I suppose you know it's one of the first times that we've actually done stuff like that. Uh, who have we got here? Squaddy Berg. Squaddy Berg. Can you actually take a shot at anyone, or are you just far too far away? Seventy percent chance to hit. It's not terrible actually. I think we'll just let them. Yeah, look at that. See, brilliant. Hopefully, he's going to get an upgrade for that. 
Hopefully he's going to get an upgrade. Hey, Nakagawa, you cannot fire on anyone. That's because no targets are available. Do we want to put him undercover, up high? I mean, if he went and climbed up on top of this truck, could he then fire at everyone? Um, I don't know. I mean, what does he, does he have range? Does he have range? I think he does, but I think we're going to come over here. We're going to grapple our way up to here. And then next round, we're going to have... I'm going to grapple our way up to here. There we go. I had to... Why is it suddenly, like, right-click to move everywhere, apart from when you're grappling, when it's suddenly left-click? That's, that's, that's terrible. Okay, Stitch Johnson. Let's see what you can do, my friend. I know you are just a medic. 26% to hit is pretty rubbish, and 26% to hit is pretty rubbish. Okay, so let's not do that. Let's let's come back and have a look. What, what better positions can we take up on them? It's not much, to be honest, is there? There's not much. We can come around here and get a, a better better bit of cover. It's full, it's full cover, so that's got to be good. And a 46% chance to hit? I, I know, it doesn't feel good. Oh, oh, Squaddy Johnson. Get in. Okay, so Britt Pedersen. She is the one that just goes in and kicks him in the face, isn't she? But at the same time, she could be the one that goes in and gets kicked in the face. It's a little bit, little bit of an R, isn't it? Um, shall we do the flush shot that we've been meaning to do forever uh, like next to no chance of shooting there we go look at that is that going to blow oh are we going to are we going to kill that civilian over there what are we going to do this round so we got a berserker that's easy enough to take care of uh, I, I am definitely more ow shoot my civilians in the face why don't you I'm obviously more worried about the heavy floaters those those guys, hey, those guys. They don't seem to be concentrating on me either, um, which is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. Six points of damage there. Was that on them or, that, or on a civilian? I don't know. Was that enough to kill someone? Oh, mate, you are in trouble. Oh, I know you're in to cause trouble to my guys, but you just walk between everyone who's carrying shotguns. You are dead. You are dead, dead. Uh, civilians running towards the exploding cars. That's, um, yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Why did he do that? Just why? Just why? Uh, is it now my turn? Is this what we're doing? Is it now my turn? Can we fire? We can fire on him, 100%. Not enough ammo. Damn it. Look, there's still ammo there. All right, well, we're going to have to reload. Uh, Kobayashi, you, however, can just open on this guy. Uh, hopefully, it's enough to kill. If not, Nakagawa will come through. Oh, nine, nine crits. That's not bad. Um, we got a heavy. Can we get our heavy firing anywhere else? No, let's go with this. Hopefully that's good enough to hit. Yeah, all right, well that, that's well and good. Um, Squaddy Berg, you are gonna come in and give our guys some healing. Ooh, little bit exposed, little bit exposed. It could, uh, could all go wrong. As long as a grenade doesn't get thrown here. Though you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Alright, let's have a look, see what we can fit. Uh, so what have we got here? That is a heavy floater. That's definitely one of my, my ideas. That's also a heavy floater. That would be ideal. Uh, and that's a muon. Not not too bothered about him because he has to get close. Okay, we're going to go with this guy. Do we want to headshot or do we want to fire? I'm going to go with a headshot as I've got it available. Let's see what happens. Let's see what... Come on, Nakagawa. You are my man. Yes! Death and destruction wherever he goes. I wish I knew some biblical quotes to... Uh, oh, so headshot, uh, headshot is on cooldown. That's all right. That's fine enough. Disabling shot. I mean, we could do that. It, it only deals three damage. So that's a bit rubbish. Let, let's let him lay the smack down, if you will. Oh, well, maybe we should have done the disabling shot. Uh, Stitch Johnson still having a go at this berserk. My God, he's going to have to fall back at some point, isn't he? Do you reckon he's going to have to fall back next round? Oh, my God, yes. How could he not shoot? How could he not shoot? Um, oh, they just they just keep on coming, and I bet someone's going to throw a grenade all the way across. I just, I just cannot believe it. Wow, that was three of my guys. Any more of those, and we're done for. Oh, look, here's someone else who can throw a grenade. Um, well, death, doom, and destruction all round. One of my guys is panicked. Well, as long as he fires, that's all good. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, 
Ooh, it's quite a lot, quite a lot of damage being let down here. Um, I suppose it's just one of the things that happens on these terror missions. I'm glad they are kind of not all concentrated on me. This could go like terribly wrong if it was all concentrated on me. Okay, so we've got someone who's panicked. What's he doing? He's not going anywhere. That's a, that's a bit rubbish. So we are going to run and gun. Is he dead? I cannot believe he's dead. He just one shot to the face. Is he actually full on dead? Ah, oh, you are kidding me. Um, well, I suppose he was a little bit off from the team, but that—that's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. He only had—he only took one shot. Oh shit! And now I've just told someone to reload by pressing R instead of E. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Uh, so we're not worried about him. Are we worried about him? Can we take him out? Does ten damage? That should be enough. And hopefully we'll get the double tap to take out the um, the berserker. Like him over there would be really nice to take down. Uh, do we not full on not getting a double tap? We're full on not getting a double tap. Okay, Britt Pedersen, do you want to come over here and fire at him? That might be might be a plan. 61% chance to hit. I should have had my heavy fire at him first. Actually, that would have made a lot more sense. But that's the way it goes. That is the way it goes. Six to hit. He's feeling intimidated, or I've in he's intimidating me. I don't. Oh my god, where are these exploding cars coming from? I really should start to take notice of these things a bit more, a bit more closely. Uh, Nakagawa, obviously, going to have to take him out next. Is it? Is it not actually my go now? I thought I still had uh, Kobayashi's go left. I really did think I still had Kobayashi left. Obviously not. Maybe, maybe he was the first time person to go. Maybe. I am definitely losing a lot of people here, though. This is. Um, not great not great but we'll, we'll see it we'll see it how it plays i'm most upset about losing sergeant johnson uh i i'm not sure why this happened the way it's happened can i not fire pedersen looks like she wants to shoot someone samid looks like she wants to shoot someone but for him, she doesn't have any rounds okay uh berg oh my god my friend what are you doing what are you doing do you reckon you can take him down let's let's try him first no, maybe not. So then we're going to go with Kobayashi, and hopefully that would then be enough. Oh god, what was that? What was that? Perhaps we'll have Nakagawa next. That would be nice. Apart from he can't shoot from all the way over here, he has to reload. What about with the sniper plasma pistol? Can he, can he shoot then? Even if it's just three points of damage, that would be better than nothing, right? Okay, that that's most of my panic gone. Um, down down here, no, can't. I, I want to shoot at him. Why can't I shoot at him? Okay, well, can't even reload. No, nope, there is nothing we can do here. Um, in fact, it's not even going to let me do anything. Um, I kind of feel a little glitched. What am I supposed to do here? Not enough ammo. Um, it has full on glitched me, hasn't it? Right, 43% chance to hit. It's a bit low. It's a bit low. Can we get our heavy in on this first? No, is she. Has she already gone? I'm not. Yeah, okay, she has. Uh, perhaps we can move in and fire? If we come in around here. It's not going to be enough, really, is it? It's not going to be enough. But we'll see what happens. Oh, one, one point. One point would be all it took. Uh, who Who is Kix going to fire at? Down that way, that's no good. Can we back up? I mean, he's panicked, right? So we're, we're a little bit stuck on what to do. Oh, I should have seen how far the dash would have taken me first. Because uh, blatantly, I just want to run around here. It's the double move, so I'm, I'm hoping no one else can move this far. Fire. Job done. That should be everyone. Now he's gonna fly off and cause some trouble. Okay, this is all good. Hello, Mr. Berg, is it your go yet? No, no, it's not your go yet. Okay, Pedersen's gonna start f falling forwards again. <laughs> falling forwards, of course. Um, yeah, the, the, so they're not kidding when they say that the missions are really hard nowadays. They're, they're really not ki uh, kidding at all. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the guy who's already done his double movement. Um, perhaps we're just going to overwatch 
around Nakagawa. That, that would probably be a good idea. That would probably be a good idea. Now, I'd really like to get in with my heavy and do some damage somewhere, but I don't really have the range at the moment, so let's, let's just kind of walk forwards. I feel a little bit exposed on this side of the vehicle, actually, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, and good, good old Yella needs to reload. Job done? How's that job done? Okay, cool. What could possibly go wrong, hey? What could possibly go wrong? I'm really annoyed about losing my fucking medic. A little bit annoyed that I've sent him so far out. That, that, that's blatantly what went wrong. Nope, no one's going to be able to hit this uh, incoming heavy floater. It's a shame because it means that we're going to lose a person at some point. Oh no, no, he's flying away. Well, we'll be watching and seeing what goes on. Uh, I think if we find him here, yeah, look at this. We should be able to fire over that way. 100% hit chance, 10 points of damage. It might not be enough. Let's go for a critical. Hopefully. Pow! No longer a threat. All right. Okay, is that everyone quiet now? It is everyone quiet. So let's start moving up. We're going to run up here and reload. Definitely something needs to be done. Uh, Kicks, how's it going, my friend? Uh, you need to dash to get all the way down here. You know what? I might just do that just to start getting you more in line with everyone else. Yeah, why not? Well, I, I could think of several reasons why not, including that dead body over there is a good reason why not. But we're just going to carry on, try and get people exposed, see what see what happens, basically. See what happens. Damn it, he panicked so hard he ran out of bullets. That's, uh, that takes some doing. Hey, we saved our first civilian. <laughs> Let's reload. That's terrible. That is full on terrible. So sounds of sounds of panic in the background. Uh, we should be all right with that though. Uh, can we run up here? Might not be the best plan. Let's use Berg to be bait. Ah, oh, he's got nowhere he can go to that's actually kind of safe. That's a dash as well. Well, let's just dash him up here. See what happens. See if we see anybody. Yeah, go on, go be safe. No, no one here. Nakagawa can't see anyone. Let's send <coughs> the heavy forces up forwards. Still no one spotted. Still no one spotted. Um, Nakagawa is literally just going to go on overwatch then, unless we've got someone else to move. Pedersen could move up around here though. Little bit exposed. I'm looking for something that gives me some like rear cover. Or some forward cover, I suppose. Um, we've got an overwatch. Okay. Kicks. You're going to come down this way. You're also going to overwatch. Okay. And yeah, then we're just going to have Nakagawa on, on overwatch back here then. We will see what happens, hey? We will see what happens. We can hear more stuff kicking off over there. And hopefully at some point they're actually going to come into... Ah, oh, it's another dead civilian. Another dead civilian. Uh, so we're not going to start with Pedersen. We're going to start with our good friend Heavy here. She's going to come up here. Hopefully she can now see people. Can she not? No, there is literally no one here to see. So we're going to overwatch, okay? That should be fair enough. No, do we not... Do we not like to overwatch? Is this not a thing? What a weird little glitch that was. Um, Alright, so where are we going now? Well, I don't really know where to send him. This is the problem. If we, if we put him on the edge of this vehicle here, I bet other people are going to want to stand there, actually. Uh, Nakagawa, no one cares about you at the moment, mate. You are literally just uh, as a, a nice little backstop. If we rushed, where could we get? We could dash here. We could dash here. Let's do a, a run and gun. It kind of leaves us with nothing to do at the end, but... I don't know, let's see. We're just, we're just trying to get people exposed so Nakagawa can take them out, really. Still nothing? Still nothing. It's quiet. It's almost too quiet. Um, here, here. A dash up to here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where, should we, where we should send him. Um, maybe a dash here. Oh, look, there's somewhere up here for, for good old Nakagawa never saw that before Nakagawa can you run there in a couple of moves no no we can't you can't even get there in like lots of moves um, well just carry on over watching why not why not hey hopefully he'll have views hopefully he'll have views more people up that way okay we will be heading up that way 
Uh, in fact, Pedersen will be heading. Oh, shall we? Should we just go and hide around here? See what we see. We see nothing. We see nothing. It's all right. We can we can deal with nothing. Okay, what have we got here? Full cover. Brilliant. No, we still see nothing. Seems a. Uh, a little bit tense actually to be honest it's a little bit tense I'm a, I'm a little bit like what's going to come around the corner for me I mean what honestly what what could come around the corner for me all sorts that's what all sorts that's right giant licorice monster ah. um, okay we still haven't sent kicks anywhere and we've now moved Nakagawa so things could go hideously wrong at this point but there's a nice little covery point here I'm gonna overwatch in there brilliant now we just wait and see what they do. Are they going to get close? No. No, they're not going to get close. That sound is the sound of your death. Okay, the first thing we want to do is... Where is he? Here we go. Nakagao, can you get your bottoms up here? Uh, he can. There's no really sort of covery place for him, though. So let's just kind of stand him on the edge. What, what could go wrong with that, hey? What could possibly go wrong with that? And then when we put him on a pistol... Because he's, he's quite good with the pistol. And we're going to go Plasma. Uh, we're going to go Overwatch. Brilliant. Okay. Um, Pedersen. Kind of missing a safe spot. Ah, there we go. I was going to say kind of missing a safe spot to go to before she moves up. Ooh, I see someone. 43% chance to hit is not much, but we will give it a go. Yep, really wasn't much. Um, Kobayashi, Mr. Kicks. No, we're not, we're not going to go with that. We're going to go with uh, good old Samid here. I think that's Samad. I don't know. Uh, we're going to suppress him. Damn straight we are. Need a resupply. Oh, you're out of, out of bullets, are you? Out of bullets. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. Uh, everyone can see him, though. This is good. 80% hit chance hit. Booyah! Is that it? My God! Okay, I'm not. I'm not imp impressed about losing the operative. It's got to be said. It seems like every round this th at the moment we're losing operatives, and this is um, well. It's going to end up causing us a lot of trouble. Basically, we're going to end up with a lot of rookies trying to take on some like top top level bad guys, and we're just going to be like, no, and then they're going to won. And then that'll be a rubbish way to finish this playthrough, wouldn't it? Just be like, yep, didn't actually complete the game. Yeah, no, that would that would be full on terrible, full on terrible. Killed in action. Well, stuff you, Stitch. I mean, as it is, we're getting Sergeant Berg here up, but the uh, uh, Sprinter can move three additional covers or allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. Yeah, that one. Go on. It's got many, many return fires. That's what I'm going for. Float corpses, muton corpses, berserker corpses, and stuff. All right. Panic in Australia is decreased by two. Panic has decreased across all of that great continent of Asia. We will be in touch, I'm sure you will. Let's take one good last look at the situation room. And I will say thank you very much for joining me for this particular adventure, guys. I'm a little bit disappointed about losing the guy, as I've said a couple of times. But I will see you next time when we're going to carry on training up the new guys. Bye!